Conversation with Matt Joey O. He is the principal at Marion Center High School, and he joins us in our remote studio today. Matt, good morning to you. Morning, morning, Todd. How are you? Good. It's good to have you in the studio with us here today, even if it is remote. We like to make you think you're flying the plane over there. Right. Okay? I feel very powerful in front of this board. <laughs> All right. So let's talk a little bit about um, Marion Center in this age of the pandemic. You've been in school for about a month. I want to start with Friday because, uh, you know, the rumors fly and people have questions. And so let's let's talk about that first on Friday, the decision to uh, cancel the football game and uh, and what went into it uh, as uh, I, I know so many people were disappointed from both Homer Center and Marion Center. They'd have loved to have played that football game. Just didn't feel right about doing it, though, huh? Absolutely. Um, I, I want to say that both schools were very cooperative in this whole process. Um, we're doing everything we can as far as uh, keeping Homer safe, keeping Marion Center safe. Um, it was not an easy decision. Um, it was heart-wrenching all day long. Um, Jody and I, Mr. Rainey from Homer, uh, were talking various times throughout the day along with our superintendents, um, trying to hash out what, what is happening and what Homer was planning on doing. And I have the utmost respect for uh, Homer Center and the decision they had to make um, to go remote learning for this week to keep their student body and staff safe. Um, so we're all trying to keep our programs up and running in this age of pandemic, and we're always one case away from being um, – shut down for two weeks and that's one of the things that were weighing heavily on both of our minds and when you came to look at it if something terrible would have happened or somebody would have gotten sick um it would have been you know on our heads um for playing the game so uh, we are trying to reschedule it actually that's why i'm in the studio today i'm on my way down to uh, homer center to meet with mr rainey um to get some ideas on the table of a rescheduled game Mm -hmm. We are going to need some cooperation from uh, other Heritage Conference teams, though, to be able to make that happen. Yeah, well, I sure hope that works out and that uh, they can get to play the football game. Um, it is. It, you're right. I mean, as I said to you, you're just walking the razor's edge every single day, aren't you? Yeah, we're, we're, we're trying to keep our schools running safely, and we're trying to keep our athletic programs running safely so that the kids can you know, finish out. And, and continue to play. Um, like I said, we're always one phone call or one test away from being shut down for a, a few weeks, mm-hmm. and that's always on our mind. So, you know, right now at Marion Center, knock on wood, we are we don't have any positive cases up to this point. So, um, you know, we're just trying to maintain the ship. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's get into the hallways now. You've been in school for a month. How has the plan worked so far at Marion Center? I will tell you that our students and staff have been excellent as far as wearing face masks, policing each other, um, maintaining social distance. As you know, we came back in a hybrid model of Mm -hmm. 50%, which allows me to build our classrooms um, to six feet social distance um, in every period. So the only time we're really within the six feet margin is in the hallway for four minutes. Mm -hmm. Um, So we're hoping and we're we're really thankful that, you know, we've made it this far without having a positive case. And we'd like to think that, you know, some of our mitigation efforts have, um, have been the cause of that. Schools of course had to come up with their own plan. Each, each school had to come up with their own plan. And that was the one that you decided on. Um, as you have looked at the way other schools have done it, the way that you have done it, obviously you sound like you're very comfortable with the way the plan is working at your school. I think, um, you know, we are the second largest school in Indiana County, uh, you know, aside from Indiana, of course. Um, so when you talk about coming 100 percent, I cannot socially distance my school at 100 mm-hmm. percent. Um, so that allows us to stay away from one another and wear masks. So. Like I said, the students and staff have been great. I think they're all happy to be back. Um, of course, I want to te- I want to say this. I want all the kids back as soon as possible, as soon as it's safe, because um, getting closer to normal is always the best way um, because, you know, coming every other day is just, you know, it's tough on families, it's tough on students, it's tough on staff. Yeah. You know, one of the things that, that comes to mind is the fact that in Indiana County, most of our school buildings, they have some age on them. A couple of years ago, there was a plan floated uh, within the Marion Center District to replace the high school with a brand new building, which, of course, would be sized differently. Uh, the hallways would be wider. Uh, things would be different, and uh, it might be easier, of course, to get yourself physically distanced from one another and, of course, all the 
all the different uh, amenities such as um, wired uh, wired for internet and all those different things uh, it would if you were in a different building it would be a lot different uh, of a plan that you were executing right now but you work with the building that you have and those hallways are narrow at Marion Center yeah they're they're you know it's a 1959 i think building uh, for the most part and yeah it's built for 1950s education but we're making do with it i think the biggest struggle we have is at the beginning and the end of school with um, the lack of air conditioning in the high school Mm -hmm. Um, because it does get hot especially with masks on so um, we're trying to deal with that it's thankfully it's cooled off a little bit and um, you know it's much more comfortable in the high school now but yeah we are making do with it and um, hey age adds character just like me (laughs) (laughs) all right we'll go with that all right (laughs) all right so with this educational plan obviously kids are in the school building uh, on one day, but they might be home from school the very next day. Talk about how they're still able to get the continuity that you need in your studies as a, a home student one day and an in-the-building student the next. Right, and there was a lot done um, as far as central administration, getting everybody uh, one-to-one uh, Chromebooks, which allows everybody to access Google um, and our Ingenuity program, which is our online platform of instruction. So uh, Bridging that gap that we um, tried to bridge over the summer and then moving all of our in-service days to the front load the, the school year to train our staff um, on getting, you know, acclimated to the uh, Google and Ingenuity programs um, was really beneficial in that. And we do have a connectivity problem um, in our in our county, I think, but most, you know, definitely in Marion Center where maybe a third of our population has slow Internet or no Internet. So the Chromebooks allow the students when they're in the physical building to download the material that they can work on on the off day or on the remote day. I don't mm-hmm. want to call it an off day because we learned that sometimes students think they're off when there should be remote learning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that is a big challenge. Uh, in the spring, I'm sure it was much different uh, than it is now, and, and the kids are much more adaptable, I'm sure, and just as the faculty has to have become more adaptable to the changing situations. Uh, but uh, it it has to be a whole different atmosphere learning wise now than it was then, uh, because this is this is serious stuff now. It was serious last spring, uh, but there was a little bit of a grace because everybody got thrust into it without any planning. And now all of a sudden, okay, it's like this is coming. This is what it's going to be required of you, and it's a whole different education, isn't it? It is because um, schools um, mimic society, and it's a social setting. Um, it's meant for interaction. Everything that we learned about teaching and instructing, you know, group work or um, one-to-one uh, teacher-student uh, work, those types of things just aren't happening. Now they have to happen remotely, which is totally opposite of the way we've been uh, trained on the way students learn best. Mm-hmm. And it, like I said, it's a social setting, and it's built for a social setting, and now we're trying to, to social distance that, which makes it difficult. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so talk, if you would, about um, what goes on when school isn't in session at Marion Center. Your custodial staff, they got to be right on top of the game. Oh, yeah, they're, um, they're doing a fabulous job as far as um, refilling the um, disinfectant. Uh, every room has disinfectant in it. Um, the rooms are trying, you know, we're trying to wipe them down in between periods um, by staff. We have a custodian going around to disinfect um, while class is in session, doorknobs and um, surface areas and those types of things. Um, they switched all the uh, the uh, water fountains over to uh, shut off the water fountain but allow the bottle fillers to be mm-hmm. on so that students can carry a water bottle with them and fill it up whenever they need it. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, that's a smart move, too. Yeah. Your IT staff uh, has to be uh, uh, feeling a little bit of pressure, too, because with all of those Chromebooks out there, with all of the different issues that, that crop up probably on a daily basis, uh, yeah. they're another group that has to be extra alert. Right, they're they're definitely backlogged and, and definitely hustling out there, uh, especially with one to one computers for kids, especially when they leave campus and then they come back. You know, they connect differently off campus than on campus, and you know, so there's always kinds of login issues and and those types of things that they're working through. But they're doing a fabulous job with that. Mm-hmm. All right, we're talking with Matt Joyo. He's the principal at Marion Center High School. Uh, Matt with the football situation and what other schools have done with homecoming with senior day, uh, senior night. Um, have you had a chance to get those plans in place? We're, we're currently working on the, I forgive me. I don't know the date, but I believe it's the West Shemokin game, um, Mm -hmm. that we're going to do senior night and homecoming court 
on that night. So the homecoming court will happen at halftime, and senior night um, will happen prior to the game starting. I'm looking up the schedule right yeah, now to find right. out I, when that will be. I can't remember the date. Um, but, yeah, that, a lot of schools have done that now. They've just combined. And it would be all fall sports, I would assume? Um, no, it would be football, band, cheerleading at that point. We already had our volleyball uh, senior night, and I believe cross country does their own thing with the senior night. Yeah, well, you've got a state champion caliber cross country program, yeah. so uh, that's pretty amazing. Uh, so it's this Friday would be the West Smoke game. Well, no, wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, it would don't be do that uh, to me, Todd. Please. <laughs> October twenty third. Okay, that sounds better. <laughs> October twenty third gives you just a little bit more time. <laughs> All right, so those conversations will be really interested to find out what happens from them uh, with Jody Rainey today at Homer Center. And I do hope it works out right. that the, these teams will get to play. I mean, we're, uh, we're, we're going to work real hard. I know both teams desperately want to play, and um, we're going to try to solicit some cooperation from neighboring schools to allow us to, to space out some games there. Yeah, after Coach's Corner the other day, I think, I, I think uh, you'll have a pretty good chance of getting it done. Matt, thanks for coming in today. Hey, I appreciate it, Todd. Thank you. Thank you. It is the voice of Indiana County. It is the voice of Indiana County.